Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to Black Rock Coffee and I'm going to be trying out one of their new fall drinks. So they came out with a few new fall ones and honestly I haven't started going to Black Rock since like this this year. Um, I've gone before in the past but I always get the same thing. I always get the blackout. Is it the blackout? It's like the hazelnut mocha. Um, but I've never been like a die-hard Black Rock fan. Well, as of recently, <laughs> this year, um, my life has been changed. Their coffee is just so addicting. It's really good. Their flavors, I don't know, there's something about it. their coffee, it's addicting. So I'm pretty sure they put like crack in it or something. It's really good. Um, so today, they have like the toffee nut where they have the pumpkin blondie. Um, lately I've been getting the caramel blondie, not the blackout one. And I think I'm going to get the pumpkin blondie because A, I love pumpkin. And then B, I'm pretty sure the blondie part is like a mocha part. And I think a pumpkin mocha, white mocha would be really good. So that's what I'm going to do today. This line is incredibly long. I feel like no matter the two locations I've gone to, it's one is a little bit less busy than the other, but the other one that's not as busy is a little bit farther. I think I'm gonna add an extra shot of espresso in mine because I did not sleep good at all last night. It was a little bit stormy the, that night and I was a little spooked because I was making my friend Sam's uh, spooky craft so why was I all creeped out by a storm and her gift I don't know her gift isn't that creepy maybe I was getting in a little spooky creepy mood I don't know what was going on but I was a little creeped out from the storm um, and then on top of that um, at four in the morning or maybe it was it closer to five in the morning um, my printer, it went off. It, oh yeah, there's no cones. It went off. Like, it turned on and then it started flashing blue. It's trying to connect to something. And then that freaked me out. I kept waking up because I had really weird dreams too. Do you guys have vivid dreams at all? Because I definitely do. I have, um, like, the first one, I, got, I was being chased by a hippo. <laughs> And then the second one was us being abducted by aliens. Hold on. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Can I have a medium ice pumpkin blondie, please? Absolutely. Can I have an extra shot of espresso in that, too? For sure. And then can I get an everything bagel with cream cheese? Everything bagel, cream cheese. You got it. And that's it. Thank you. Right, thank you. Okay, I haven't eaten yet and I'm really hungry. So I was actually thinking about doing the apple cinnamon pecan muffin, but uh, I got a bagel instead. So about my dream, the hippo part, I don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure in that, um, in that dream I died because I woke up from like looking at the hippo like straight in the eye. Um, and I had like been climbing on stuff and like running away from it and people were telling me how to run away from it. I don't know what was going on with that. But the one that kind of like makes me laugh is the alien one. So I had got somehow got abducted. Um, I don't really remember the details on what, but I remember I was just holding my daughter Jade and we both got abducted. Um, and in the dream, they weren't even, like, um, doing anything to us, like, torturing or, like, asking for information or anything. They were rearranging our personality traits. And mine had gotten changed to really mean and icy. Literally, I remember the word icy on there. And then her started getting changed to mean and was the other word hers I think was also icy 
but I got super mad at that one because I was like, my daughter is the sweetest little girl on this planet. You're not taking that away from her. And I woke up. I was so mad. But how weird, like, are, are these dreams? I also wanted a cup of water, so I'm gonna probably ask for a cup of water. Press on that too? For sure. And then, can I get an everything bagel with cream cheese? Everything bagel, cream cheese, you got it. And that's it. Great, we'll see you through the window. Thank right. you. Thank you. Okay, I haven't eaten yet and I'm really hungry so I was actually thinking about doing the apple cinnamon pecan muffin but uh, I got a bagel instead. Hi! Hi. You have the pumpkin blonde with an extra shot for the bagel? Yes. $9 for you. Okay and I think I also have a $2 off reward thingy. Your makeup looks really good. Thank you. I love your mask. I'm a huge friend, fan of friends. Yeah, one of my made it for me. It's like reversible. Cute! I love that! What's the phone number for you girl? I have a free one and a two dollar off one. Oh! Like two dollars. Yeah, let's do the two dollars. <laughs> and can I have a cup of water too? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Can I get a water on the fly? I know, it's really good. Can you put a dollar on there? Yeah, thank you. 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 Thank you so much. You too. Okay, I am super excited for this bagel. Take this off. Lock my car doors. Okay, so here is the pumpkin blondie. So after this, I'm going to my friend Sam's and we're going to be doing our little craft exchange. I don't know if um, this will be up before then or if that one will be up, but I'm really excited. I'm gonna go straight there. I got water to put in my new Starbucks cup. So ironic that I got a Black Rock water and drink when I'm putting the water in that cup. All right, so anyways, let's try it out, huh? I wonder if like the extra shot of espresso is... Oh, there's a pumpkin. You know, that's pretty dang good. I feel like this is a more natural, um, it's a more natural taste of the pumpkin versus the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. I feel like there's this much more sweet and the pumpkin is a lot more prominent in theirs. This one is just like a hint of it. And that again, that could be because of my extra shot of espresso, but it's really good. I like it a lot. Um, this bagel I'm sure I'm going to like because it's a Chompy's bagel. Um, if you haven't had Chompy's bagels, run and try one. I think they're in Tempe. But my favorite bagels are everything bagels, so I had to get one. And this looks like a little bit of a sad everything bagel, though. I wonder if they put it upside down. No. But... Still pretty dang good. All right, I'm very content with my bagel and coffee. So, you know, the bagel I would definitely recommend, but I would try with a different type of spread, but they just have plain cream cheese. So, I like my bagels with like a veggie spread or a garlic spread or a jalapeno spread. I really like Einstein bagels schmears. Um, the coffee, I would definitely recommend the coffee. So if you're in the mood to try out a new pumpkin spice thing, this is really good. Oh, you know why it might be also so subtle in flavor? It, like the pumpkin flavor is also because it's mixed with the white, I think like the white mocha. That's what makes it the blondie part is like the mocha. That's it. That's it. Burr -burr -burr. 
All right, that's incredibly good. I'm gonna be scarfing both of these down. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you guys have any weird dreams, please tell me so I don't feel like I'm the only weirdo that has all these crazy dreams. All right, bye guys.